coming up next. Ooh, this is a this is a fight. Oh, this Everyone's is a redemption looking fight. Too. This is a redemption this is fight. A redemption fight. Lot of storytelling to be the told dream here coming Tyreen into this. Da Silva. I mean, the hitman. You couldn't have scripted a better meeting between these two. At Combat Night 2, both of these gentlemen fought, and Tyreen Da Silva fought Brandon Layton, the twin brother of Brett Layton. Brett Layton fought Michael Murphy, who was a teammate of Tyreem Da Silva at Triforce. So they're switching roles. They both won their respective fights, and they're both looking to avenge the loss of their teammates to the respective opponents and twin brother respectively. Yeah, and for Brett, he's looking to redeem the loss of his twin brother. I mean, identical twin brother. Yeah, identical. Almost identical twin brother. I think one's a little bit taller than the other. <laughs> but other than that, very get identical. much more personal than that. And Tyreem, the dream, the silver, the Triforce fighter, walking out now, and he's about to have a serious case of deja vu all over again because identical twin brother. He's that the same guy. It's, it's going to be like like nothing's changed and he's hoping to keep the result the same he wants to get in and out with the quick submission finish Pete Jeffrey Dion Rubio in his corner decorated jiu-jitsu background uh, high wrestling IQ as well and you know Brett Layton of course has showcased his wrestling skills and his striking skills as of late in the cage now is Brett a true 135 or has he competed at 135 is he stepping yes. up to 45 to avenge his brother's loss uh, that's one note I, I do I, I train with both these guys Oh, you train with that. So Triforce <laughs> and Lozons. So I train, I've trained with both of these guys. Both of these guys are, you know, they're, they're beasts in the gym. They've been uh, uh, looking, um, I mean, Brett Layton in, in particular, looking like a madman in the gym. Tyreem, I saw him this week, you know, cutting weight. He's ready to go. He's focused. This is a great matchup here. I said when Ty made his debut, I told everyone he's going to surprise a lot of people. And that he did with that quick first round submission finish and a beautiful guillotine as well as he awaits one of my personal favorite walkout songs, the 300 Violin Orchestra, signature by Brett Layton. <laughs> mm. Lozon MMA has had a big, big year. For all their guys. Huge year, you kidding me? Well, they, Joe Lozon, the New England MMA legend himself, UFC veteran, in the corner of Brett Layton, who makes his walk with his twin brother Brandon right behind him. And Joe Lozon's really built pretty much a state-of-the-art training facility at his gym in Easton, where all the best of the best of New England train. Time in, time out. Just a whole slew of killers over there, and it's showing in the results of their fights thus far in 2019. Lose an understatement. He has a stable and it is stacked. It's impressive to see what's being built there in Easton. You're not seeing double there. That's his twin brother. His twin brother Brandon, who shared the cage with Tyreen. I the believe exact same twin brother you saw on ESPN after Joe Lozon's huh. big win in Boston. Yes, yes, yes. yes. They make their <laughs> one. They that. fight too. Yes, they do. And we're going to see the experienced Brett Layton take that walk to the cage. He's 2-1 and one in his amateur career with decision victories over Mike Murphy and Rafael Adames. Both of them Triforce fighters. And his first fight was to now featherweight champion Shane Doherty at Cage Titans 39, which was an extremely razor-thin decision that, you know, was one of those fights that nobody really lost. So Brett Layton enters the cage, and we have it to the measurables, gentlemen. And this one's going to be fun. We're looking at the tail tape here. Younger guy, Brett Layton, at 22 years old. Both guys weighed in the same, 5'9", five, 5'8". Five, and a reach advantage for Tyreen the Dream, 71 inches versus 68 inches. Either way, great matchup here, and Andy is ready to take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for the fourth bout of the evening. An amateur featherweight matchup scheduled for three rounds, three minutes apiece. Introducing to you first, standing in the red corner, with an amateur record of one victory and no defeats, he stands five feet nine inches tall, and he weighed in at 146 pounds. From Pawtucket, Rhode Island, he's representing Triforce. Let's hear it for Tyreem, the Dream Da Silva. And now, introducing his opponent, standing across from him in the blue corner, with an amateur record of two victories and one defeat, 
He stands five feet, eight inches tall, and he weighed in at 145 pounds. From Stoughton, Massachusetts, representing Lozon FFA, let's hear it for Brett the Hitman Layton. Our referee for this matchup is Gary Foreman. Big ovation there for both guys. Gotta love how Brett just walks into the middle of the cage. Yeah, <laughs> marks his territory. Love it. I got love goosebumps in that one. These and guys. The crowd loves this fight. Ah, yeah, you can't not love this fight. The story behind it, the, the skills behind both of these guys, <laughs> the experience, fast. and the camps. This is gonna be a fast fight. Brett Layton in the blue trunks, Tyreem in the gray camo. Immediate shot, beautiful <laughs> sprawl. Right to that guillotine. Right away. Brett Layton out of it. But what hips on Tyreem De Silva with that sprawl. Yes. And that's just, that's just how Brett fights. He's a pressure guy. He's always pushing forward, looking for that takedown, throwing big leather. And here he is on a body lock. Showcased a lot of improvements in his wrestling and his striking. And he gets that inside trip very nicely, right in front of his corner as well. Always looking for the mount. Ooh, ties. What happened there out. was Brett tried to advance too fast and actually lost position. Back up against the cage, though. Double unders for Layton. Both guys very strong grapplers. The head positioning of Brett Layton. A little sneaky knee there too by Layton. Mm -hmm. They're looking to load up the legs. Drops down to a double. Hands a clasp. Yep. He he that shot. Uh, the neck is on the right leg. side. Got to pop his head out there, but he can't go to the right because he's got the fence. Yep. And you got to think Brett has been preparing for this moment. His brother experienced it. Being a wrestler as well, you got to oh, imagine wow. he's constantly fighting off chokes. Tyreen is doing a great job curling up with that arm and guillotine. He really likes attacking that. He does. He Brett's really him. exposing his neck here to that guillotine. He's kind of, I don't want to say forcing this, but he's take, getting the takedowns, but... Tyreen's throwing that arm in yeah, he's real deep. He's got those hands clasped, and he's trying to push through. Ty, there ooh, it is. Ty's looking oh, to lock but it He's up. on the right side to, pat, to get oh, that choke from him. Ty is! Deja vu is a two! Oh, Unbelievable. 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 Tyreen De Silva scores the same result that over Brett Layton as he did against Brandon with that sensational arm and guillotine. That is a devastating submission. Two for two against Two extremely dangerous wrestlers and grapplers extremely dangerous. in the Layton twins. And Seriously, that. And, 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 and here's a replay here, right here. Brett, Brett got a little careless there. He went in for that double and left his neck out. And Ty just locked it up. Yeah. Fell to the hip, controlled the posture with that left arm. No arm in there. He was able to scoop in the grip. Wow. Right oh, there. Look at the arm. Completely arm. extended through to the bicep. Putting all that pressure on the windpipe, and there's the tap from Brett Layton. Beautiful submission finish. Oh, you're looking at Brett Layton, top contender in this division. You know, at three and one. That shows how legit Tyreem is. Unbelievable. Man. Brett Layton disappointed with that one, but you know what? This kid is such a savage, so I'm sure he'll be right back. You he'll know what? It's a learning experience. You know, he left his chin up a little bit too much. And he paid the price for it, but he's going to obviously have to, you know, learn from experience. Tyreem in the gray camo. Immediate shot. It's all about Ty. Right away. And here we go with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for these two warriors. Referee Gary Foreman has called a stop to this matchup at 1 minute 58 seconds of round number one. Giving you your winner by guillotine choke, Tyreem the Dream Da Silva. Wow, Tyreem Da Silva goes to 2-0 at 145 pounds. You know, this just goes to show how crazy this sport is, you know. You could be doing everything right and make one mistake and all of a sudden it's over. For sure.